Eddie O'Sullivan said Scotland have a deluded notion that they are actually better than they are. Ryan, is this harsh or does he have a point? I think he has been affected by the COVID pandemic. And he's <laughs> being a little bit lonely, a little bit unloved. And he, he's like these guys on Twitter that wants a bit of love. He just wants to throw some crap out there. So we talk about him and we're feeding him at the moment. I'm not sure what he wants, what he wants the Scotland camp to do. I don't know what comments he's talking about. But if it is Gregor going out and saying, listen, we're confident we're going to go over them and win, what would he rather the coach do? I mean, when he's coaching a team, he would have, I don't know, who did he coach? Coach Ireland, then Beeritz at one point, was he? When he was coaching a team and he thought, oh, God, this is going to be a tough one this week. Did he think to go, oh, we're, we're going to struggle this week. We're probably not going to win. No, that's not what you're going to say. You're going to talk your team up. That's what you do as a coach. Um, so, And I don't think, even if, you know, after the last eight games that Scotland have played during that Six Nations period and then the Autumn Nations Cup. I mean, what have, they've won something like, I think they've won five of their games at the last eight and the other three, they were within seven points before they played the Ireland game. So it's, Scotland are getting better and we are progressing but, in the right way. But I'd agree with him though, like with the whole progressing thing, like you've been saying that for like over a decade, like, do you know what I mean? Like, um, I think there's a level, a little bit of arrogance there. And what he kind of means is that, what have you ever done? Like, you've never won anything. You're battling out for fourth and fifth every year in the Six Nations. Never done anything in Europe, no Scottish team. But there's this level of expectation coming from nowhere or arrogance, I think. And, um, yeah. Is there I, an arrogance? What was I, think, what yeah, was the arrogance? I think there is a little bit, yeah. We used to call you the Glasgow All Blacks there for a while. You, Hold you on, you're think still you moving were on, on to Glasgow league. now. <laughs> but <laughs> is the monster man coming back out? Scottish, Jesus. Scottish, Scottish, Scottish. In general, though, I, I, th I, I thought I would have agreed with him over the last couple of years that I think that Scotland have a... I wouldn't say you're deluded. I wouldn't go as far as him now, but I can... I can resonate with one or two, you know, uh, of the points he was making. I, I, but, uh, but if you look at the results from Scotland hmm. and the last two competitions, let's forget the World Cup and move on from there. The last eight games, mm -hmm. they've won five and the other three, they're within seven points. So they, they're getting harder to beat. They are becoming the team that they want to be. That's what they, you know, they yeah. keep hearing them talk about. We want to be a, a more difficult team to beat. This was obviously different because Ireland put a lot more than the plus seven points on them. But up until that game, you can see where the growth is. And I just think this was one of the games where Scotland didn't perform anywhere near what they have been over the last eight, nine games. When did Gregor come in again? I can't remember. When did he... Tony would have left. He... Did he have a full cycle before the World Cup? No. Uh, I, think he, I think he will have, mate. Yeah, because okay. yeah, I went to the 2015 World Cup with Vern. Mm. And then it, it would have been, yeah, it would have been around 2016, 2017. So yeah, he would have had near enough a, a full cycle. So, so yeah, that, that's where your argument, you know, comes in. But yeah, I just think he's, um, yeah, he's gone a bit overboard there. I think Scotland are going in the right direction. And just yeah, he's he's probably gone a bit overboard. Point. Yeah, I'll agree, he's gone a bit overboard. But I uh, I can understand what he means a little bit. But this is what these people. <laughs> This is what these people in the press need to do nowadays. They've got That's it. They just have to be controversial. controversial. Correct. To correct. try and get, get the next job. 